Hi, my name is Dr. Udhraman and through the Oral Health Channel, today we are going to be talking about TNM staging for cancer at a glance. Now I am going to be talking about oral cancer because I am an oral health specialist and an expert and I get a lot of cases which are related to oral cancer and a lot of times my patients ask me what is the stage of the cancer that we are going through. Now usually the TNM staging is done by the oncology department and the oncologist where you can find out what is the extent of the tumor, what is the extent of the nodes and what is the extent of the metastasis. Let me explain you at a glance and not completely elaborately or in a very exhaustive manner what TNM stands for. T stands for tumor, N stands for node, N stands for metastasis. Tumor as you know is cancerous growth anywhere in the body. Nodes are the lymph nodes which help in spread of the cancer unfortunately and they become very stony hard when there is an involvement in the lymph nodes and that too that leads to the spread of cancer to various other parts of the body which is known as metastasis. So the more the metastasis, the more the nodal involvement and the more the size of the tumor and the more invasive nature of the tumor into the regular anatomical structures, the more likely the prognosis is going to be grim. Now coming to the grading. Now coming to the tumor staging, it's very simple. If it's TX, that means there is not enough, you know, uh, we don't have enough requirements or that needs to be met to actually call it a tumor. T0 means that there is no evidence of a primary tumor and T1, T2, T3, T4 is the increasing size of the tumor which I will not go into the detail because I don't want to confuse you or scare you that your oncologist can talk about. Now depending upon T0 to T4 that is the increasing severity of the tumor and also you have something known as TIS which is tumor in situ or carcinoma in situ which means that there is a definite presence of a tumor right there wherever we are looking at it and it has very uh, aggressive cells which are you know neoplastic cells which may or may not be infiltrating into other tissues. Then you have nodal involvement or nodes or end staging which is NX that means the nodes cannot be assessed we cannot for whatever requirements that might be we are not able to find out a node or anything and you have N0 which is that there is no evidence of nodal involvement then you have N1, N2, N3 depending upon the size, the structure the number and the side of which you know if the tumor is on this side and you have a uh, this is known as the same side is known as the ipsilateral side this opposite side is known as contralateral side and basis the number of lymph nodes the side of the lymph nodes and the size of the lymph node involvement that's why you have n1 n2 n3 it has very uh, you know uh, so many uh, subcategories which is not the purview for the general patient Finally, you have the metastasis staging which is MX that means you cannot perceive or assess the metastasis or you have M0 which is that means there is no distant metastasis and you have M1 which is basically there is presence of distant metastasis. Combining these three approaches of T and M you have different stages of stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. Now stage 4 as the you know the numerology says it's actually the most advanced and it has other aspects or infections to it such as locally resectable disease that means it can be resected with the help of surgery or non-resectable disease that means it has spread to such an extent it's not just enough to do for surgery you might have to go for radiotherapy and chemotherapy anyway your oncologist after the TNM staging will apprise you as to what needs to be done what's the extent of the operation what vital structures can be saved what is going to be the quality of life do you require any chemotherapeutic agents or radiotherapy or any other immunotherapy for the treatment of the cancer now it's a very difficult conversation but it's a conversation that you're supposed to have in order to save your life and make sure that the quality of life is not compromised and the cancer is detected early and that's why this staging has been devised so that we can decide what to do next when we have encountered a patient with cancer so that's it for today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly refrain from calling me directly as i might be busy just drop me a message with your name your location and the common oral health problem that's giving you concern and i might take a couple of days to reply back to you please be patient don't get angry that i'm not responding i get a lot of flack from patients that why have you given your number out if you're not responding please try to understand i get a lot of calls get a lot of love sometimes i get a little bit of hate from patients please understand 
that I have to see all my physically present patients in my clinic at the same time my patients online so you have to be a little patient with me and I will definitely get back to you if you have any queries doubts questions apprehensions or suggestions please feel free to put them in the YouTube comment section so that's it for today thank you